Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we've got increasing activity on the sun. There's a minor solar storm ongoing now. We'll hit seismicity, a weather warning, climatological data, and a paper on ancient magnetic field strength acting like a cherry on top. We'll start, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star. Filament and active region activity went up a bit. While we still don't have much in the way of eruptive activity towards the Earth, we do have surging at sunspots. We've got new, fast-growing spots to monitor today and a coronal hole stream. And first, here's the last 36 hours of the photosphere. You see that? We'll watch it twice if you missed it. We've got two separate active regions being populated with umbral cores of sunspots. While this morning they are still moderately sized and not terribly complex, a similar level of development in the coming hours will result in some fiery, unstable spots. Major flare watch in play today if those spots develop at this pace again the rest of the day. Meanwhile, second panel from the top in blue. Phi angle of the solar wind has been tilting all night. It turned the BZ southward, the impact of the heliospheric current sheet. And this morning we are in a low-level geomagnetic storm from it. The enhanced solar wind stream from the departing coronal hole is still on its way due tonight or tomorrow. Could get some strong auroras if this preconditioning leads to medium to strong solar storm levels when the coronal hole stream arrives. Speaking of the coronal hole, two mornings ago we looked at the coronal hole magnetically connecting to our planet and called out the earthquake watch in the October 9th morning show. Since then, there have been two magnitude 7 earthquakes, a 6.7 aftershock in the Philippines and a 6.3 in Papua New Guinea. Now, sunspot minimum comes, we're going to be doing more earthquake forecasting and it'll be nice to get back into that. This is a weather warning for the southwest. Remnants of Hurricane Priscilla are already soaking the area, but Raymond is going to add to it. Could be some major flash floods in the coming days in Arizona and surrounding areas. Eyes open on those forecasts. First up in the articles today, it's the legendary Dr. Roy Spencer bringing all the receipts and adding to the idea that the hot fear they sell has no warranty. If you've been here a while, you've heard me focusing on how 60 to 70 percent of global warming is actually nighttime temps not getting as cool. Looks like another 10 to 15 percent is winter days being warmer rather than summer days. Excellent work here by Dr. Spencer to in fact show that those hot days are the slowest changing of any perspective matters. Lastly, folks, solid study on magnetic cycles of Earth finds that the ancient magnetic field was actually significantly stronger than they thought. Now, if this sounds familiar, that's because this is the second such paper in the last month. They crush the idea that the modern field strength is anomalously strong. It's not, which makes the weakening and accelerated descent a major problem. Magnetic pole shift and Earth disaster cycle marching on. I'm talking at the Colorado Prepper Expo today at 1 p.m. Should be a good time out there today. If you're in the area, would love to see you. Don't forget to grab your tickets to the winter tour. You really can't imagine how much I'm going to give you during these events. Ticket page linked below. And folks, we only really have three more big event weekends you can come to at the ranch here this year. Last chance to come out during our rookie season. And for the speed dating event, guys, prepping is a years-long event and being lonely sucks. May want to find your other half now. It's observers only. Winter tour tickets below. Everything else is at observerranch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 4.55 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.